Hey, good looking. Welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. Welcome to singles week. So this week and this week only, <laughs> you guys are going to get inundated with a bunch of single eyeshadow content. I got some really great stuff. I've got some single shadow breakdown, single shadow management, some DIYs, um, a little bit of decluttering. You guys know how I feel about my single eyeshadows and letting them go. So we'll see how that goes. And um, some single eyeshadow DIY decor. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already down below. Let's go ahead and get into this episode, which is <laughs> single shadow palette teardown. Check it out. Okay, before I get everything in um, and get the camera set up into place, I just wanna show you guys, I've got all these palettes right here that are curated and they are palettes that I have made recently, except maybe this ColourPop one I haven't. Um, but yeah, they're just palettes that I've made and I now need to just disassemble them and get them put away because I'm done using them. And I need them put in their place so that I can go on to the next Duping the Vibes video and I need to then, you know, be able to know where they're at. And so a lot of these are just, you know, this is like color pop shadows. There's some um, Celestial Divinity shadows there. So there's Divina and there's Makeup Geek and just all different brands and everything like that. So let's get everything sorted out and then let's get everything in its place. You know, everything that has its place put back in its place. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the ColourPop shadows back first, and then we'll go from there. So that's kind of like sorting it all out and getting the ColourPop stuff put away, and then moving forward to the other shadows that I have. Okay, so these are the three that we have left. Let's go ahead and go into each palette that has um, the ColourPop shades and then find out where they need to go. We are done with all of the ColourPop palettes that I own and it feels really good to kind of get everything reset and grouped back into, you know, its place. So everything in its place and it has a place and it's in its place. So that's always really good. And I am going to go ahead and put these up and then we'll get started on the next um, set of shadows that will get put away. I think now I'm going to go ahead and take out all the Makeup Geek shadows and put them in their own respective piles. So kind of sort everything out. And then um, I'm also going to grab a wipe and just kind of start wiping through some of these shadows and some of these palettes as I get them sorted through and, you know, set out and set aside. So that way we can kind of clean as we go. This is Sydney Grace, this is also Sydney Grace, and um, this is Sydney Grace, so. Uh, and this is Makeup Geek. Now I can go ahead and clean this out and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my Give Me Glow shadows that I bought and put them in here. Okay. And then there's one more and it's Electric Unicorn. It's over there in my um, formal studio. So I'll go ahead and grab that and I'm going to close this up and this will be ready to put away. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just start sorting into piles different shadows and their brands. So like for example, these are all ColourPop shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a pile. These will all get cleaned out, but next I want to then go ahead and put, these are all Sydney Grace I happen to know, so I'll put them in a pile.
That's Pat McGrath. Makeup Geek rounds. I'm also going to put all my Makeup Geek square pans next to one another as well. That's Coastal Scents. It's a little bit different. Davina. I think there's not going to be too, too many of those. Terra Moons. Okay, again, I've got this to go ahead and clean up, but we can do that later off camera. You guys kind of know that how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and get out all the palettes and we're going to go ahead and put everything away. So first I'm going to go ahead and put Sydney Grace away. It kind of looks like most of my shadows are neutrals. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting them away. I had to make some more space on my phone so that I could get all this filmed and in the meantime I put a couple things up I got my Sydney Grace here and it's ready to go back in its uh, respective thing so we're just gonna do uh, let's do neutral mats and neutral shimmers put one in here uh, colored up here okay so then I just got a few various other ones what did, I don't remember where I was okay this is color pop What's this? Oh, that's Sydney Grace, and I just put that away. Okay, so anyways, um, I got a couple more shadows I wanna get out, but let's go ahead and do Makeup Geek really quick. All right, so got all my Makeup Geek rounds out, and what's really awesome about these is that Makeup Geek provides you a card so you can see which shadows go where, and that is the truest form of 5S. That is standardized, everything has a place, it's in its place. It's just a really good example of that. And whatever level you're at, it's okay. I promise you, you're you're gonna, you know, do great things. If you can have your shadows just laying out on a counter like this, and you've maybe only got this many shadows total, and that's enough for you, and you just keep them in your counter, or maybe you have one palette that it goes in, that is perfectly fine. This is um, this is my kind of like I'm a subject matter expert on this so I kind of tend to want to keep some sense of organization so that I know where things are and I organize first by brand then if I can subdivide I kind of do it by colors so that's just kind of how it goes for me so let's go ahead and get these put back in their spots guys sit back and watch There it is, that is all of my matrix um, shadows put back together. I'm not, I'm not sure if I have anything centered. Okay, I kinda do, I kinda do. So that's it, and those are gonna go back. Then I've got some, just some Makeup Geek shadows that I can put in here. I'm gonna get those put away. And lastly, I'm just gonna put some rounds back in my palettes. Okay, so I've got all my Makeup Geek shadows put away and they're all organized by rounds versus rebrand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in their respective drawers and then I'll just go ahead and clean these up really quick and then we'll be done, guys. Okay, Makeup Geek rounds are in the Makeup Geek round drawer, and then I have the Makeup Geek rebrands, and they are in the Makeup Geek rebrand drawer. Just really quickly, I'm going to add in my ColourPop shadows. Um, actually, Mr. Sandman did go in here somewhere. Where did he go? We'll put him up there. Okay.
Okay, that is the last shadow that I have other than my one glam light shadow, and I'm going to go ahead and get that put away. But that is it. That is the conclusion of putting away and organizing some single eyeshadows from palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. I hope this is also giving you guys a chance to see sometimes what we neglect as content creators to focus on, and that is kind of the sustaining and maintaining of your single eyeshadows. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ah, singles week. All right, guys, that is a little bit into the life of managing single eyeshadows and tearing down some palettes. I took apart some ColourPop palettes and put them all back together. It's nice and crisp and satisfying. So I hope you guys are enjoying this content. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. Can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's episode.